Hey there guys and welcome to another Linux review. We have Antergos Linux ear in front of us. Uh, I just said the word ear and then in front of us. Yes, that happened. Um, today we're just going to be going over it. The device's name is Oh Hi Mark because, you know, at the time of installing I was kind of pissed off at Manjaro and uh, Fedora for not doing what I needed to do. So that's what led me to uh, Antergos. And... Um, Chose GNOME, of course, because of Dash Dock. Can't live without it. Uh, running my 290X and my 4790K. And it's the best version of Linux, uh, the best distro that I've ever had on my PC. And I have distro hopped like nobody's business. I have tried the horrible Ubuntu. I have gone to straight on Debian. I have tried Linux Mint. All three of those were not good experiences. Not, not, not at all. And I know most people praise those, but honestly, I wanted to get into Linux, not into, you know, easy Linux. There was no point in it. So, someone suggested Arch, and I found Manjaro, and I went with it, mainly because it looked good. And for the time being, it ran and did what I wanted it to do. But then I introduced Docker into the midst, and Docker literally kept killing the operating system. So I stopped using it. I went to Fedora. Fedora had everything that I wanted it to have. Everything. Um, and then it didn't, because it was missing a lot of stuff that I really did want. And then they changed a lot of stuff once I got used to it with Fedora 27. I still like Fedora 27, you know... <clears throat> It's just not what I want anymore. And to conclude, we've arrived at Antrigos Linux. And um, when I was installing this, I'm like, you know, if I can't get this the way I want it to, I'm going to just quit and stick with Windows for a long time. But here we are. This has been the longest running installation of any Linux distro I've ever had. Uh, it usually takes me to a week to pretty much kill the thing and then move on but this has survived and survived and survived through all my crazy ass experiments through all the applications that I use everything and uh, I'm pretty impressed with that finding stability in an operating system is rare uh, to say the least and you can install uh, time shift back up what you have and do what you need to do but I don't really feel like I need to because any of the problems that I've had with this I have been given ways to be able to fix it. And you know what? I'm just going to rename this main OS because this is my main OS now. I am on Linux almost 99% of the time. If I go and stream or do Unreal Engine 4 work, go to Windows. Um, if I'm going to have some Hackintosh fun or I need to do some extreme video editing, I go to Mac OS. Okay? And if I want to play some Grand Theft Auto V, unfortunately right now I still have to go to Windows. Uh, hopefully that will change soon and they will add more of DirectX 11 into Wine Staging because that would be amazing. Or, you know, Rockstar could get their shit together and, you know, actually add Vulcan into the engine and then we will have no problem at all running GTA V through Wine Staging. Man. That was one hell of a run on sentence. So what draw me to Antergos? I wanted the closest, lightest thing possible to having the base Arch experience. And this is it. Man, draw is great, but it's customized all hell. So when you're trying to troubleshoot an issue, well, the Linux troubleshooting things don't really work out that well. So I kind of had to just move on. When you're troubleshooting Fedora, you're not really going to get very far because most of the old troubleshooting stuff doesn't work with the new operating system or they've changed a lot of stuff and it kind of just throws you off. But with this, all the art stuff just works. Uh, during the install, you get to choose any desktop environment. I will always choose GNOME. I used to be a cinnamon guy, but, you know... Now it just seems like an outdated thing to even bother with. 
Uh, it's got some cool features, but it's clunky. Weird to say that, because I was a huge fan. Uh, Mate, or Mate as most people call it that speak English. Um, not a fan. Not anymore. You know, I have to have a dock. And Deepin needs a lot of UI work. It is a horrible experience to even touch Deepin. Uh, it's it's a migraine and a half to bother with, pretty much. But this 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 has everything that I know from Fedora, everything that I loved about Manjaro, you know, all in here. I mean, I love this thing. This thing is amazing. It just needs to be transparent, and it's not. Yeah. That's my complaint right there. That's that's probably about it. Uh, I'm sort of a transparency nut, and as you can see, none of it's transparent. And I believe it's actually Ark's fault. Might be my fault, but I'm blaming it on Ark. Actually, it's my fault. It's guaranteed to be my fault. I've not gone in and edited anything, and you know this is just this is the same menu thing that this one uses. So if I found that in the .css file. I could go in and add transparency, but I've not really bothered. Yeah. By the way, I'm using um, my custom theme that I originally started using with Manjaro. Uh, the shadows underneath don't really come through very much. Uh, this is a near desktop. I love uh, background. I love this. Uh, someone made me fall in love with the near game, so I kept it. But to put it simple, gaming is a pleasure. Um, on other distros, when I ran Alien Isolations, that is the best game. It had just the worst performance, you know? And on Arch Linux, like a proper Arch Linux, it runs amazing. At 200 frames a second, completely maxed out, you will have no issues running the game. And every other single game in my Steam library, I've not installed them all yet, but even Arc runs great, minus the little hiccups that you have with the compiling shaders in the background. You don't really see it doing that, but it does that to decrease load time. So you just have to wait for that to work. And nothing wants to open. The minute I start recording, nothing wants to open. Yeah. Oh, is it seriously doing this right now? Uh, must be because I tried to open something. Right, I tried to open you. Ah, uh, yeah, it's stuck making decisions. So I'll have to deal with that. It only does this when I'm recording with OBS. I don't know what causes it, but there you have it. All right, I'm a I'm an avid RuneScape fan. I don't like old school very much because the animations just feel like you're moving slower than you actually are. It, it, it gives me a headache. Um, I'm an RS3 guy and I have a new account and I realized something. When I max the game out in Windows, I have 123 FPS at any given point. When I max the game out in Linux, okay, I have about 150 frames a second at any given time. Unless I go into the GE, then it goes down 144 FPS. But other than that, RuneScape runs like a god. Okay, and having the best performance on RuneScape is always a good thing when you're out there skilling or you're fighting something that's stronger than you. And I tend to do that even at my new account. I have managed to fight some pretty strong things and not die, which is a miracle, to say the least. And, uh, you know what? We may as well add this in. Since I am on AMD, I can't even bring that up. OBS, you make things just not function. Ay. Today, Linus released a video, had a game on Linux. And they bashed AMD because of posts from God knows how long ago. Uh, I think it was before Mesa 17.0. Uh, saying that NVIDIA just has better performance overall on Linux, which is just not true at all. Uh, in fact, most hardcore enthusiasts are switching to AMD for their Linux-only machines because of the massive performance and features that Mesa gives you. AMD, NVIDIA runs all proprietary coding garbage for their OpenGL and other things. Even their Vulkan is not very good. But with AMD and Mesa, you get 
everything. Okay, you get the best of Open Geo, you get the best of Vulcan, you get it all. And then NVIDIA just can't touch it. Message drivers have gotten so fast that when they added support in for Vega, Vega literally destroyed, annihilated everything that NVIDIA's 1080 Ti could do. And that, that alone was enough to switch to Linux. And I have other reasons. Simu, the Wii U emulator. I play Breath of the Wild using an emulator. 4K graphics pack. We have clarity involved. We have FPS++. If you don't know, it increases the FPS beyond the normal 30 FPS that the Wii U can do. Okay, so I'm up to near 60 FPS in the game. Alright, high resolution shadows. The game looks... <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> That's not even going to open. Well, I don't like you anymore, OBS. I'm going to find an alternative. Um, but the fact is, if you've got an AMD GPU, Breath of the Wild is just going to run better. Plain and simple on Linux. And I found Antricos to run my AMD card the best. Night and day between other distributions. On Fedora, when I ran um, RuneScape, I had a lot of performance issues. It was weird. I tried to figure it out. I upgraded drivers, I downgraded drivers. Nothing wanted to work. And I couldn't figure out what it was. I switched over to Antergos. No issues. Out of the box, everything works. Same drivers, everything. And it was highly impressive. Even today, I got a small performance boost from the newest 17.3.4, uh, I believe it was, from Mesa. And I got new Linux drivers awaiting to be installed as well. Um, 14, 4.14.9. Uh, we're getting close to 4.15 kernel being released. That should be released sometime in January. And that should add a lot of great stuff as well. So, what can I really say? Um, we got performance mode that it says stuff. Don't know if you can read it or not. You can turn Turbo Boost off. I'll go back to 4 gigahertz. Turn it back on. Back to 4.4 gigahertz, you know? I got my weather. Look at that. That's my weather right there. You know, it's just the inclusion of everything that makes this operating system so worth it. I got my CPU temperature right there. Temp 1 uh, is my GPU temperature. And, um, yeah, I chose Core 0. Technically, I should not have chosen Core 0. I'm just going to go back to Average. But, oh, I can select Average, too. Crap, I have to unclick that. There we go. Well... What else is there to say? The applications that come with it can be removed or, uh, you know, you could use them. I personally like using Spotify DNS because right now I can't pay for Spotify. So I use the DNS to block the Spotify ads and all that good stuff. I got my GIMP down there. I got my PS2 emulator. I do have RetroArch, but I don't keep it in the bar below. I am going to actually add that in pretty soon. Actually, I should probably do that right now. And I also have Citro, which is a 3DS emulator. I am quite the emulator enthusiast, I do believe. Uh, I also have RPS3 somewhere, but unfortunately, you can't really add that in yet. So you're going to go over there. And you're going to go over there. Simu is in here, but... It's uh, in a docker, so I'd have to start up the docker, which means I'd have to shut down OBS and then restart it again. I'm not going to do that. So, this has been the fastest distribution. It has been one of the most stable. It has had the best experience for me overall. And after this video, I'm going to find a way to move you over here. Because I'm used to the launcher being over here. So, I kind of, can I just, does it move? Yeah, I can't. See, there's nothing I can do. But I'll figure a way to move it over. Anyway, that's been the review of Antragos. One of the best distributions I've ever got my hands on. Definitely one of the best distributions of Arch. Um, beats Fedora hands down in performance. And, uh, yeah, the Simu Docker is built off Antragos, just in case you want to know. So, it's really cool. All of it is very pleasant to work with. Anyway, guys, uh, 
for those who watched, thank you. For those who left likes, thank you. Uh, for those who shared, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. I know I've not been that active, but it's been Christmas. I uploaded a crap ton of videos from my stream. And I figured that guy, that would hold you over until we started in January. But I decided to start a couple days early. Anyway, guys, thanks.